Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to have a quick discussion about one of the fragrances in my collection. Um, this one is for my good YouTube friend Joy Amin who has his own fragrance channel and is very popular and I love um, listening to his uh, reviews and thoughts on, on different discussions. I'll leave a link uh, to his channel below. I'm sure that most of my subscribers already subscribe to him. So, um, uh, Joy, this one's for you. Today we're going to be talking about um, a pretty new acquisition to my collection and that is none other than Body Kuros uh, by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, now, I, I just want to start out by saying um, with these videos, uh, I don't intend on doing, on, on even pretending to do uh, uh, an objective, impartial review because basically what I'm reviewing or what I'm talking about, uh, I'll try and avoid using the word review, is uh, are fragrances that are in my collection and they're in my collection because I like them and in some cases love. Um, so it's unlikely I'm going to talk about a fragrance um, unless I'm asked to review something by someone or some, someone sends me a sample of something I haven't, I haven't smelled before. Um, but uh, it's basically going to be a discussion and, and hopefully try, I'll try and describe why I like this particular fragrance. So um, Body Kouros um, by Yves Saint Laurent. I, I actually bought this um, at a local pharmacy or chemist uh, near my house here, and they appear to have quite a quite a bit of old stock uh, in their shelves. Uh, I mentioned uh, in previous video that I was able to find uh, a vintage uh, Rive Gauche uh, by Yves Saint Laurent as well in a, in the tin can version, which are pretty hard to find on uh, on retail shelves these days, but. Um, this bottle um, that I have now, um, which I believe is the first bottle it, Body Kouros came out in, um, and now they come in bottles that are, that are similar to the original uh, Kouros. Um, okay, so Body Kouros was released in 2000, um, and the, the perfumier um, who is behind this particular fragrance, um, her name is Anik Menado, um, and please excuse my pronunciation. Um, if, you, if you do a bit of research, um, you'll discover that she's also the perfumier um, behind uh, the, the legendary, to me, Bulgari Black. Um, and um, she's also done Patchouli 24 by Le Labo, uh, which is one that's on my wish list. Um, Coco Rico by Jean-Paul Gaultier and um, Lolita Lempica's Au Masculin. Um, so I'm, I'm actually a bit of a fan of um, her fragrances and um, she creates fragrances that are that are nothing if not um, unique, I think. Um, you just have to think about Bulgari Black um, and I don't remember there being anything like it when it, when it first came out. Um, but getting back to Body Kouros, um, I, this is full disclosure, I'm not, I'm not familiar with the original Kouros. Um, I have uh, sprayed some of the the today you know the new stuff um, apparently it's been reformulated and nothing like um, it used to be um, but uh, I'm not familiar with it and therefore I can't speak to whether body Kouros has uh, a lot of the of the original Kouros DNA uh, in it uh, what I can list you uh, are the notes uh, that are in body chorus according to the Fragrantica website. <clears throat> Top notes are eucalyptus and incense. Uh, mid notes are Chinese cedar and clary sage. I'm not sure if clary sage is any different to regular sage. Um, and the base notes are benzoin. Um, now, I'm just going to spray a bit of this on my 
on the back of my hand um, just to re-familiarize myself. All right, so pretty much I'm getting the incense and the thing with this scent is the eucalyptus almost fa fades in. Now, I, I want to briefly touch on, on eucalyptus as a note. When I, when I think of eucalyptus, it, um, I, I, Im I immediately think of um, Vicks Vapor Rub that hit you rub on your chest when you have a cold or you're, you're congested. Um, it's, it's the smell you get in um, some of those steam rooms that you find in, in particular health, health clubs. So it's not, it's not a note that I associate with a, 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 a nice fragrance. Um, but what, what the eucalyptus does here um, is kind of... It's just mixed in really nicely with the with the incense. So uh, it's almost like they they balance each other very well. So you know if if that's what a well a beautifully a beautifully blended fragrance is, where everything is in in balance and nothing is overpowering anything else, then then this is what happens here. Now, after a while of uh, of wearing this. Um, to be honest, I, in in the few wearings I've had, I you know the the cedar that's listed here is not is not prominent to my nose, and I, and I think a little bit after the sage um, also combines with the eucalyptus, um, and what they do is they actually act um, as as a they, they rein in the benzoin when that finally comes in. So, because benzoin um, is um, a, a resin, a tree, a tree resin um, that has similarities with vanilla um, is the best way I can, I can describe it. So, there is a bit of sweetness to benzoin. And what this does after a while is that the, the eucalyptus... Um, Keeps keeps the benzoin in check, and but the benzoin also starts to balance with the eucalyptus, and and, and so what it creates is a really masculine, a really masculine. There is a bit of medicinal a medicinal quality, but I think that's because of the the eucalyptus. Um, but it's just really well balanced with the benzoin, and and. Yes, this is a pretty simple composition, um, but it, it works. And and again, with with this fragrance, um, it's pretty unique um, compared to anything I've got in my collection. Um, and it lasts a long time. I get yeah, it's. There's almost a, there's almost a, a an ethereal quality to it. It's not it's not. I, I know this is not making much sense, but it's not it's not a, a solid fragrance, which is a, in this case a good thing. It, it's like um, it's like body chorus is it's floating around uh, around you when you when you're around, and and it does um, it does make you feel confident, masculine. But you know what? I think. I think a woman could easily pull this off. Um, so just going back to to the notes, um, eucalyptus for anyone who who is interested. Um, um, one other fragrance I can I can think of that uses it predominant uh, prominently in the in its composition is Royal Mayfair by Creed. Um, <clears throat> I haven't smelled that, but but I understand the eucalyptus is quite quite dominant in that fragrance. Um, and here, it just works perfectly. And and the thing is, in the dry down on on body kuros, is that you get the benzoin, but always lingering in the background. You know, just holding on to the benzoin's back um, is that eucalyptus note, and and it's always. 
you, you can't, you're never going to get one without the other, if that makes any sense. And, and you know, it's ne you're never going to go, oh, that, that's Ben's one. But the eucalyptus is always there to make it, make it different. So it's a different, different feel. It never gets cloying. Um, and it's not a string. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a beautifully composed fragrance. Um, and I know that me describing this hasn't made a lot of sense, um, but I definitely recommend, um, you know, the current version is should be pretty widely available, uh, in most places, but I definitely recommend, um, spraying it on, uh, and, and seeing what you think, because, um, this has made me want to go back and try the original Kouros, um, even though they may not smell anything like each other, but it certainly has um, broadened my fragrance palette, if, if you will, just because, you know what, now, now I'm getting a really faint rubbery vibe. It's good, it's good. Um, yeah, but... I mean, I got this at a pretty good price, 100 mil for 50 Australian dollars. Um, that'll last me forever, probably. Um, Body Kouros by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.